Hello PlayStation fans! For decades now, games have strived for realism. From animations to stunning visuals. However, making things as realistic as possible can severely get in the way of fun. And so we asked you for the times when the realism got a little too real. If you don't remember tearing it up around London in the getaway on the PS2, that's because you didn't, as the game forces you to drive like a pensioner. Imran remembers, the driving mechanics meant that even lightly scraping the side of your car would cause your steering to go out of whack. Also, your character wouldn't take any more than a couple of shots before he died. So on the one hand, the developers were striving for realism, but on the other hand, your character would magically heal whilst leaning against a wall. So it's all rather confusing. Driver 2 is another game that forces you to obey strict traffic laws, as Thomas used to hate. If you drove through a red light when a police car was in sight, then they'd chase after you. That game was brutal. Take him down, officer. Matt learned that getting shot in Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, is a real pain in the backside. The wounds you have to manually bandage through menus and all the various items you need to do so. Sure, it's impressive, but if you're as crap at the game as I am, then it'll get tedious after the first 6,000 times or so. If Matt hasn't already played it, then we'd suggest that he avoid Metal Gear Solid 5. Imagine a game where you'd have to press a button to blink. That would be insane. What? Are you f joking? We call on Denoya. I am yet no love. Matthew says, blinking at the start of the Alone in the Dark remake. In the opening cutscenes, you need to blink so that you can see clearly. It seems like a joke, but you do actually have to press R3 to blink in the opening scene. For over five minutes! When Lauren started the interactive drama Heavy Rain, in which you must hunt down a serial killer, she didn't expect to be cleaning a guy's teeth. The first section with Ethan. I couldn't care less about finishing a piece of architecture work or putting groceries away. Let me play the game! It's like the really boring bits of your actual life, but in a game. John remembers when wrestlers suddenly started to get tired. In the WWE games, when they introduced that stupid stamina mechanic. Good thing, Cole. I don't ever want to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this. Halfway through a match, you just have to stand there holding a button to increase your stamina meter. Otherwise, your character would start having a heart attack after a few moves. You know, I don't think you can keep going for much longer after taking that much punishment. WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after This is what I look like trying to get out of bed on a Monday. This night after night, Taz. Sounds like a pretty fair trade to me. We all play games to escape the harsh reality that we need to do exercise. As does Ian. Grinding forever at the gym in GTA San Andreas just to have your stats increase by a tiny margin. A little too real on that one, Rockstar. In its quest for realism, the game enables you to manage CJ's body fat in order to become healthy and ripped, as opposed to unhealthy and obese, which has its pitfalls. Maintaining CJ's body weight requires you to repeatedly press buttons in numerous gyms across the state. It's incredible that Rockstar managed to create a virtual gym that's almost as boring as those in the real world. Grade A realism right there. Lots of people really hated a certain mechanic in Far Cry 2. 
having malaria in Far Cry 2 and having to take pills for it every 10 minutes. Within minutes of starting Far Cry 2, you're bitten by a mosquito and contract malaria. For the rest of the game, you'll need to frequently take malaria medicine, or else you'll suffer extremely severe side effects. Far Cry 2 Malaria Simulator And finally, Stuart has a good point about hanging on for dear life. I hate games when there's a countdown meter, when a character is hanging off something. In the old Tomb Raider games, Lara could hang for days. And then on the PS2, they introduced a meter where she let go when it reaches the end. We're with you here, Stuart. I, for one, know that if I was hanging over a drop, where I'd almost certainly die if I fell, then I'd probably hold on for a little longer than this. Can you think of any instances where realism got in the way? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers!